Now to those lingering threats for the victims of this month's ferocious hurricanes. A Houston woman recently died from flesh-eating bacteria and contaminated water. And as residents clean up the flood damage, officials are urging them to take extra precautions. Gio Benitez has the details. One month after Harvey, Houston residents are still cleaning up, even gutting their homes after the devastation all that water caused. Yeah, I've got Lysol, I've got a now county health officials are even going door to door, warning homeowners about the dangers still lurking in their Harvey affected homes. What we say is when in doubt, throw it out. Yeah. When in doubt, tear it out. Dr. Amer Shaw, executive director of Harris County Public Health, tells ABC News they're now seeing a slight increase in flood water related illnesses like respiratory disease and skin and GI infections post Harvey. We have had this increase that it really makes us concerned. So more than 100 public health employees are handing out cleaning supplies like Lysol and hand sanitizer. I just want to make sure that you are mm -hmm. taking care We're of yourselves. Mm -hmm. During Harvey, more than 160,000 homes, mostly in these highlighted areas, were damaged or destroyed. And just days after the storm, GMA asking Texas A&M to test those floodwaters. So we're going to collect the water samples. In the small sampling we collected, E. coli numbers were more than 125 times the amount the EPA recommends being exposed to while swimming. It contains sewage, it contains runoff from who knows what. All sorts of disease-causing bacteria that could at the end of the day make somebody sick. J.R. Atkins knows how serious that is. I ended up in the hospital for 11 days, five days in the ICU, went into septic shock and had three surgeries done. His skin was exposed to Harvey flood water where he had a mosquito bite. This uh, individual infection is both life and limb threatening. I could have died from it. I actually almost did. Harvey hit us where we live, where we learn, where we work, where we worship. Now our job is to build an even healthier and more resilient community than ever. And Dr. Shaw also says we'll keep seeing the situation in Texas for some time. He stresses that people should use gloves and masks when going through that home and removing debris. And that just because the water is gone, it does not mean right. the danger is gone. So much work to do. Absolutely. Okay, Gio, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.